San Francisco has some of the worst air in the region right now. Here's a look at the haze this is from the top of the Salesforce Tower cameras. Just the latest thing stressing people out right now. But maybe the key to finding calm is just to take a deep breath. First COVID, then shutdowns, job loss, fires, bad air, and a deepening anxiety about the future. Take a moment and breathe. All day long, 25,000 times a day we're breathing. If we're doing that improperly, the body is just never going to be healthy. James Nestor is a science journalist based in San Francisco. For four years, he's investigated the science of breathing and compiled his knowledge into a book. At first, well, I had a lot of skepticism when I was first researching this book. But what he discovered could take your breath away. How you breathe is a game changer. When you're breathing through your mouth, the reason why that is so damaging for you is specifically because you are not breathing through your nose. You see, the nose, packed with little hairs or filters called cilia, is your first line of defense against pollution, pathogens, even viruses. Nobel Prize winner Louis Ignaro believes just breathing through the nose may even help defend against COVID thanks to nitric oxide. You get 20% more oxygen and produce six times more nitric oxide if you breathe through your nose. Nitric oxide increases blood flow to the lungs. There are other benefits. When we breathe through our noses, we force air through this labyrinth of all these different tubes, all these different structures, so that it is heated, it is moistened, and it is conditioned by the time it enters our lungs. A Stanford study found breathing slowly through the nose dramatically reduced panic attacks. I need that right now. Another note, Nestor found studies that show the less nasal hair you have, the more likely you are to have asthma.